A photo of a sleeping stranger has gone viral, showing a softer side of New York City's subway riders. So what would you do if someone you didn't know fell asleep on your shoulder? CBS 2's John Slattery has the story. If you were to search the phrase sleeping on shoulder, you would come up with images of mostly family members and friends and babies. But two strangers nestled together? That's just what was posted on the internet and it's made a splash. A middle-aged subway commuter with a perfect stranger snoozing on his shoulder. I let him sleep because I've been there, done that. Okay. 66-year-old Isaac Thiel, after babysitting for a granddaughter, was on a Q train when he found the man next to him nodding off. The photo on a smartphone was taken by another passenger, Mike Braff. I was just so tickled that a, uh, that a New Yorker would let another New Yorker sleep on his shoulder. Braff said at first he asked the older man if he wanted the sleeping subway rider moved off of him. The guy's exhausted. He's tired. He put in a full day. Let him sleep. Thiel says the man on his shoulder slept for about a half an hour. He was sort of a dead weight on my shoulder. I knew he was very, very tired. And what would be the point of waking him up? I was fine. I had a seat. It didn't bother me at all. The photo has become an internet sensation after Mike Braff had the presence of mind to snap it. I just thought it was a sweet picture and, and really encapsulated the New York that doesn't get shown a lot. It's reminiscent of a photo taken by a tourist in Times Square a year ago, a police officer buying boots for a homeless man. Now, a variation on a theme. It's the sort of kindness, says Thiel, that would have his mother call him a mensch. In Manhattan, John Slattery, CBS 2 News. Thiel says when the sleeping passenger woke up, he didn't appear to know where he'd been sleeping. Thiel says he'd like to find out the man's name. So if you're watching, let us know who you are. And we also want to know what you would do if you were in the same situation. Let us know your thoughts on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash cbsnewyork.com.